We're not getting into this building until we see your ID. Right now, you're a threat. I don't know who you are. Right now, you're a threat, and you're not getting into this I'm a threat with the camera? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you are, bruh. Bro, bro, come on, come on. You you being super weird right now. You being super weird. And I I I do not hold nothing against this security guard for doing her job at an elementary school to somebody that claims to be an auditor, a a, a state official. And you giving this young lady pushback because she asked you for your ID? Your ID, bruh. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Show your ID to the camera. You cannot get into this building unless you show your ID. We need your ID. Show me the state statute where it says You're that. not getting into this building until we see your ID. Right now, and who you are, right now you're a threat, and you're not getting into I'm a school. threat with the camera? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. My job is to protect these kids, and that's what I'm doing. I don't know you're who you You're protecting are. them from that's, a camera and I from a so. legitimate I, I business? I don't know who you are. I you don't need to know. It's none of your business. All right. So what's in there with those kids? None of your business. You're telling me that the school yeah. district's yeah. none of my business? Yeah. Or if you could slip over here with me. No, I'm good. I'm good right here. Have a conversation I'm good. I'm good. You want to be in the shade? We're in the shade. Well, there's, there's shade right here, but... Yeah, I'm good right here. Listen. I'm not blocking any like, doors. Like I told you, I don't know you from the telephone pole, and you're at an elementary school right now, okay? Yeah, that's really good. And we are going to have a conversation over here about what it is we're going to do so we can remedy the problem. I'm in contact with the principal. Are you forcing me to move? Is that a lawful order? Did you hear me ask you to come yes, over there? Yes, you asked okay. me. Thank I you. I'm slightly denying your request. Okay. Thank you, so sir. So we'll sit right here and say it gets resolved. Okay. Well, they've already denied it, so that's one thing. Well, You've denied me access. And like I said, I don't know what you are. I'm not filming kids. Not talking to kids. Right never talk to kids. Kind of aggressive. aggressive. You're the one that's won't let me go in here and do my constitutional protected going activity. Not going in there. Show me on here the state statute that says that I have to show ID. You have children that attend here? That's nope. none of your business. It, it is my business. Is it? Why is no. that your business? What business what's your, what's your name? Sergeant David Brown. Uh, badge number? Four. Oh, four. I have a badge number. My ID's number four. Thank you. So let me ask you this. So you want to be confrontational? What Who's is being confrontational? I already explained to them. Talk okay. to them. That's fine. I haven't, I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you, sir. I'm not talking to you. I talk to them. I have no obligation to talk to you or help you with your investigation in any way whatsoever. So our number one priority is this children's safety? I'm not hurting children. Well, I don't know what you're here for. I'm trying to... I was I'm here, listening. I told them. Listen to no, I'm you listen to, to me. Things. You listen to me. To... Check, Check yourself. What? Check what? I told her I'm here to do a public records request under the auspice of Florida Constitution. School's Article policy 1. Is policy is not law. Policy is not law. Set the policy Where the is the state law that says that I have to give that? We do not set the policy for the school board. That's the school policy, policy is no not law. Policy. So you have a problem with the policy as far as your no ID. Mr. John no Doe, you're not getting this school. That's it. No, you're not getting Mr. This. John Doe. I don't know your name, so I'm calling you John Doe. You're not getting this I school. take that offensive as you calling me a John Doe. Okay, I don't know your name. Then don't call me anything. You you're call me sir. You, you treat me respectfully. You're not getting this school. Do you understand that? And what law gives you, what Florida State statute you're gives you to the a third? No, I'm not, I'm not being detained. I'll do what I want. Am I detained? Am I detained? You're not detained, but you're on school grounds. Right? Once you tell you me, once you tell me, I know what you have in your pocket. By law, case law. Once you tell me to take my hands out of my pocket, that is a detention. Am I being detained? I don't know who you are. Don't care. I'm gonna kill this right quickly. What do you have in your? None of your business. You would make this a whole lot easier. You need to see the property. Um, is that a trespass warning? Yeah, she wants to leave. Who? Who? Principal. What's your go. name? Officer Posey. Yeah, so What's the principal's name? You can Google it like you just no, said. No, I can't. Can you leave, please? I'm doing a public records request for the principal's name. Thank you for showing your ID. Can you, you please leave? leave? Like I never tried to get in there. Sure, but that doesn't mean anything. I never attempted to get in there. Do not approach me in an aggressive manner. I'm staying right here because I don't know what you have in your pocket. Yeah. Listen, don't, don't come close to me. Yeah, I'm going to be detained. I can get as close as you want. With your hand in that pocket, and get in the pocket. Sorry, can you please leave? Is this a trespass notice? Yeah. Uh, all right, I'd like to have it documented. 
that the principal wants me trespassing. Can you go, yeah. please? No, I, I want to document it as I'm being trespassed while doing a public records request. Okay. Fill out the trespass warrant and have her sign it. We'll, we'll, we'll officially trespass you. Okay, so good. Go the property. Go down the sidewalk. Like, you're supposed to be a, a, a government auditor or some type of official, right? And you standing here refusing, with a camera no less, refusing the fact that you don't want to give none of your credentials, none of your information to show these people that you're legit. Basically, that's what it all boils down to, is to show that you're legit, bro. This is elementary school a school period they don't know you they don't know you from adam jack jill john doe whatever they don't know you you're supposed to be the official what what are what are we what are we doing here what are we trying to get out of what i mean you recording all of this to 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 get internet affection i'm not understanding this correlation here like really you you put this up on the internet so that you can get some type of validation but you just look weird and a fool bruh this ain't right this ain't right why stand here and argue with all these guards and all you had to do was just show your credential but you trying to play like oh i don't have to show you nothing i'm here on on official business yada 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 well you must be fake and i'm calling you out for it you fake, you phony, you you trying to do some nef nefarious stuff here because ain't no real government official, auditor, or anybody of that capacity is gonna stand here and, and give any type of pushback if they was for real. So you a fake, you a phony, you're a fraud, bruh. Period, period. You need to, I'm, I'm surprised that they didn't call the police. Maybe they did because the camera kind of goes off after that. But I'm just saying that the, that the police didn't even show up. You you did not give them no type of credentials. No, no nothing, bro. Nothing. And here you are trying to make a try trying to make a statement, trying to make a play. Like I'm a government official. I don't have to tell you what I'm here for. Yes, you do. At a school. A elementary school? Yes, you do, bro. You not getting in there without no ID. And at this, at this point, at this point in time, you're not getting in there, period. So your best bet is to just get that camera out they faces, walk your behind back to your car, and do what it is you need to do. Because I'm sure if you if if you some type of government official. I'm sure there's going to be consequences for you, bruh. It gots to be. Okay, so if they already denied you entry, then why are you still there? Why are you still there? Like the rest of this video, the rest of this video is just pointless. Pointless. Because the rest of this video just makes you look like a damn fool, bruh. It don't, it, it don't put you in a good light. If the new, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that the news didn't even pick this up. Maybe, maybe they did. Maybe this is old. Somebody in the comment section, help me out here. And let me know if this is old or not. Because TikTok, people on TikTok have a tendency of, of reposting old shit that happened years ago. Which is cool. I mean, if I'm just now seeing it and re reacting to it now, it, it's cool. Because, again, I, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's my first time seeing it. But living in a world where there's there's been school shootings there's been students that have been acting up there's been weird people getting into the schools and, and and trying to do some ill stuff to people yeah yeah security has to be on their job just like the young lady said yo i'm, I'm here for the students for the safety of the students and that's what we're here for if you don't have no id or refuse to show id of who you are then the principal is not going to come out nobody from the school side is going to come out the security guards is going to be right there doing their jobs and that's exactly what they are doing their jobs. I don't get it.
I don't understand it. I'm still scratching my head on this situation right here. What is your constitution protected activity? I mean, if it's all that supposed to be legit, if it's all supposed to be legit, then, then what is the problem of you not showing your credentials so these security guards that's doing their jobs can get you assets? You are being confrontational. You are being weird right now. You are being creepy right now. You are, you are. Number one, I, I just need to know what government official pulls out a camera or his phone, because that's what this is, pulls out a phone and, and giving this much pushback to these security guards to quote unquote do a job that was that's required to be audited or whatever but yet you don't want to give your credentials who does that at this point you you just not getting in at this point you just trying to make additional content for tiktok that's where we at right now that's where social media has brought everybody to again i don't believe this guy i, I don't believe he's in any government capacity if he is his government officials his boss really need to reprimand him on this situation right here it's it's not even getting mad for them not letting him in is the getting mad part for him not even showing credentials to be let in and he started all of this he started all of this like you ain't you you the young lady at the beginning of the video remember she said that you had to show id or some type of credentials stating who you are and where you from to gain access to the school that's the whole point that's the whole point of this where is the credentials for that i mean if you're there on a on an official capacity then what is the problem of you showing your credentials for it? You're John Doe, bruh. Don't take offense to it. You're John Doe. We don't know your name. So while we're still being polite and respectable, you're John Doe. You gotta go, you gotta go. Now you have a trespassing issue to you. So the next time you come on the property for whatever reason, government or otherwise they got the right to call the police and have you arrested for trespassing he, he's lucky that the police wasn't called because i'm sure the police probably would have handled that a hell of a lot different you talking about treat you with respect you ain't treating them with respect camera in their face being aggressive being all trying to be all high mighty trying to get content for TikTok and all like that for you to try to get some views and and some acclamations and stuff like that bro all this stuff backfired on you and again like i said i'm i'm not even sure why this wasn't even caught on the local news but then again guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below and also let let me know if this is old too because if it is it's still a topic of conversation of people trying to get into a school or whatever by him doing all of that yeah, he wouldn't have got in. Ain't no telling what he was there for, for real, for real. So talk to me. Let's get the conversation started in the comments below. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hog with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.